Hey everybody, we're going to be looking at uh, something super cool today, online services and social networking. So kind of two sections here. And I mean, you're probably quite familiar with most of these, but hey, let's have a look anyway. Let's start off by looking at that lovely thing called online banking. Now, online banking is something that every adult has to do because that's just how it is. And yes, as you can see, that man is I think he's taking money out of his wallet. I don't think he's putting money in. There's never money in my wallet anyway. But let's have a look and let me explain to you what online banking is all about. These are some of the services we have because of this wonderful global network called the internet and we can bank online. So what does it actually mean? Well, we can, here's an example, okay? So here you see I, can, I hacked uh, Post Malone. There he is there. I hacked his account, you see? And I guessed his password. It was so easy to guess. And um, this is his bank account right here. So you can see here is the login screen so every bank account will have a login screen and I'm just gonna click and see if we managed to get in yes we did sorry about that post Malone now um, we've got accounts transfers payments bank accounts are down here my net worth hmm uh, we can send money hey we can type out a will probably should do that sometime forex foreign exchange as you can see this this is all the services that I'm able to access online through my banking um, service. So there we go. Let's see if I've logged in here. A couple of other things there. Ah, it's all blurred out. Darn, check accounts, credit cards, ebucks, global accounts, zero dollars. That's a bummer. Uh, and you can see I can actually do all kinds of things with uh, this account. So I can accounts, transfers, payments, lovely lovely what else can we do so I can transfer money between different accounts so from one account to another that's one service that I'm allowed I can also ah, I can make payments to people I can send people money and pay my bills which will happen when you become an adult it's it's just beautiful yeah those are called EFTs by the way so when you pay something or you transfer money from someone uh, from yourself to someone okay it's called an EFT and EFT means electronic funds transfer electronic funds transfer don't forget that it often comes up in tests and exams okay and then you can see other services as well such as sending money connecting as a sim card bundle you can get there my net worth I don't want to know investments oh I can block a profile I didn't know I could do that all right moving on to e-commerce so what is e-commerce right basically e-commerce is the buying and selling of goods online using what Okay, it's the buying and selling of goods online, and we can use credit cards, debit cards, and online bank accounts to do that. Hope, I hope that made sense. Here's an example of e-commerce. Here you can see we have takealot.com, and I was browsing the, the laptops section here. So let's see what we've got. We've got, uh, ooh, there's a nice laptop. There's a nice one there. That is a Dell Inspiron, 10,999 Rand. That is, that's, that's actually 11,000, guys. Don't get suckered in. It's not 10, triple nine. It's 11,000. It just sounds cheaper when you say 10, triple nine. All right, so what will happen is you will then purchase that by adding it into a cart, and they'll often call it a shopping cart or a trolley or something like that or a checkout, something like that, and then you can see you go, and then you've got to choose your method of payment, and this is all about how e-commerce works. This is how it works. You click on something, you put it in the cart, you select a couple other things if you like, you choose your payment method, there it is over there, credit and debit card. And if you could just type your credit or debit cards number now at the bottom of the screen, I will buy you something nice. Okay, maybe not. Right, what else? Travel and leisure. This is still part of e-commerce, but because of the internet, because of we're so connected to all these different services, we can do things like searching and booking flights around the world. You can book a nice cruise on a cruise ship. Nice. You can go and look for hotels online and book and pay for them all online. Everything happens online today. No more phoning and trying to book things through travel agents and stuff. You can do this all on your own. It's absolutely fantastic. Now we get on to social networking. Now I'm sure I don't have to explain what this is to you, but okay, let's let's make it look even pretty. Oh, look, look. Ah. It's so cool. It's cool, isn't it? It is cool. I know it's cool. Okay, moving on. So what is the point of social networking? Because we are all connected. Well, there's two things there, social 
network. Social meaning our ability to connect and communicate with each other and the network being the fact that we're based on a network such as the global network called the internet. Okay, the World Wide Web. So we've got communication. We have buying and selling of goods and services. And that's happening online um, with uh, social networking. Like, for example, Facebook have got a marketplace. You can buy stuff there. LinkedIn, a uh, more professional sort of social networking system where they've got courses and stuff that you can purchase and do online as well. Another thing with social networking is the sharing of information. Of course, that's what we're always doing. Like, hey, guys, this is the cereal I had this morning for breakfast. I don't do that. But, man, if you do, maybe rethink how you're sharing information. Okay. And, of course, a lot of social networking nowadays is all about marketing and advertising. Businesses are using social networks to market and advertise their products. So, in a nutshell, that is the beauty of this global network called the internet. The fact that we're able to purchase things, sell things, go shopping online, book movies, book hotels, flights, cruises, all of these things. Beautiful. Do all your banking online. Don't even have to leave your house. Can do everything from a computer. That is the beauty of the World Wide Web.